Hi, Kelly Sparta here. Uh, Want to talk to you today about the difference between intention and action. Okay, so I, I, I think we all know what the difference between intention and action is, but energetically, there's a big difference. Okay, so intention is the conscious holding of the energetic intent to put things forward. Okay. Now, when you set your intention, you are focusing on the outcome that you're desiring. You are committing, committing to that outcome. And then you send it out into the world by taking action. Okay. So action can be as big or as small as you want, right? So I'm in the process of growing my business. As my action to follow my intention of growing and scaling my business, I have spent the last two years getting systems set up, hiring on staff, putting things in place, and putting systems in place and structures in place that allow a very large amount of business to come through my business and not go on the ground, right? Now, I'm also shifting my marketing and expanding my offerings. Like at the beginning of this year, I started doing all of these minis, right? This is the action that I'm taking in order to grow my business that follows the intention that I've set to grow my business by five times its size this year. And so I set this intention two years ago to get my business up to that level by the end of this year. And that is my intention. And so because it's my intention, what's happening is that it's forcing me to grow, right? And this is the other piece of action that you have to take into account because oftentimes we think, oh, well, you know, no big deal. I'll take the outside action. <laughs> okay, unless you're doing both the outside and the inside action, you're not going to get where you want to go if you're doing something that requires growth. So the inside action has been wrapping my head around what it means to be a CEO as opposed to an entrepreneur, to be a business owner as opposed to the person who has a job of running their business, right? And that's a very different animal. And it, it's also about being someone who is a manager and who is creating structure and who is creating a system that will ultimately run me rather than me running it. And these are the sorts of things that I have to take into account as I walk through this. And I'm giving you this example because one, it's up for me right now. And so, you know, it's an easy one for me to find. And for two, because I want you to see the difference between outside action and inside action. And that's so important because your intention is you taking an inside action of intending and committing and then sending it out. And when you send it out, you're sending it out along with your actions that you're taking in the outside world. And you think, okay, well, boom, done, not done because the commitment that you made requires, because that's an inner thing, that commitment also requires action, which is the inner action of dealing with the inner changes that have to happen as you make that shift. So hopefully that makes sense to you and you, you understand what I'm talking about. If you're looking for a little bit more detail on how interaction happens, which could be a healing process. It could be a spiritual growth process. Uh, you know, I recommend that you check out my book, The Overachiever's Guide to Nailing Your Spiritual Gro Growth in Record Time. And wow, that's a mouthful. Uh, <laughs> but that's the name of it, uh, where it's basically a textbook. It's, it's not what you would consider a regular book uh, where, you know, you get three or four good ideas and a bunch of stories to flesh them out. This is basically a reference text where it's a massive amount of download of information that lays out exactly how the spiritual healing process works, what all the blocks are that I've found are common for people on a spiritual path, as well as the spiritual traps that show up, the process of change that you go through, both in inner change and outer change, uh, as well as uh, something else I can't remember now, and the uh, spiritual uh, growth uh, stages 
the stages of spiritual growth. Ah, the other thing was the mindsets that are important. I knew I'd remember it. Uh, the mindsets that are important in order to get through the process and the traps that you fall into, which I said earlier. So, uh, and spiritual laws, that's the piece that I was trying to come up with. So uh, check out the book, it's five bucks. You know, you can download it using the link below and uh, hopefully, or the link in your show notes if you're listening to this on the podcast. And hopefully that'll help with your process of intention and action. I'll talk to you next time. I'm Kelly Sparta. See you then.